Okay, so for these optimization problems, we need to write two equations and find the derivative to find the max or the minimum. So this first problem, if we have a piece of paper that is 8 by 15, but I'm going to cut out these corners that are each a length of x. So really this side of the paper is 8 but you have to take away the 2x of the corners, and this side is 15 minus 2x. So the volume of the box is the height times the length times the width. So now eventually, because I want to find the largest volume, I'm going to need the derivative of volume. But we could either use the product rule here, or we can distribute and multiply all of this together and then use our shortcut with the power rule. So I foiled these first two, multiplied the first two together. Now I'm going to distribute the x. Okay, so to find the max, the largest volume, I need the derivative of volume. And I have to set it equal to zero. I'm going to reorder my quadratic here. And I notice 12, 92, and 120 can all be divided by 4. And then we're going to factor. You could use the quadratic formula if you want. Um, you could also use put this equation in your calculator and see where it crosses the x-axis when it equals zero. So when I set each factor equal to zero, our two answers for x, x is either six or x is five-thirds. Well, coming back here to our picture, if I plugged in six, to here, I'd get 8 minus 12, so I'd have a negative side of the paper, and that's physically impossible. So our only choice for x is 5 thirds, but the question asks for the dimensions. So I have the first dimension of 5 thirds, now I'm going to plug that back in to x to find the other two dimensions. Okay, so drawing number two, here's the barn, and then here's the fence. So I'm going to call these sides X and this side Y. If she has 200 feet of fence to use, that means 2X plus Y has to be the 200 feet of fence. And we want to maximize the area. Well, the area of that corral is X times Y. So I'm going to solve this first equation and get the y by itself. Because then I can substitute it into my area formula. And because we want to maximize area, I'm going to need to get a prime. So I'm going to distribute the x. Now I need the derivative. We're going to set it equal to zero to find the maximum value for x. So I'm going to add the 4x over here, divide both sides by 4, and we get x is 50. Well, now I'm going to take that 50 and plug it back in to find the y dimension. We get 100. So the dimensions 
are 50 by 100. If we're going to draw a picture for this package, I'm going to draw a long rectangular box with a square face. So these have a dimension of x and a length of y. Girth is the perimeter, the distance around. So that is 4x's plus the length has to equal 84. And we want volume, the maximum volume. So that is x times x times y. Well, that is x squared y. So I'm going to solve this equation for y. Substitute it in here. Distribute my x squared. And now we need the derivative of the volume so we can maximize it. 84 times 2 is 168. 4 times 3 is 12. Reduce that exponent. Now we're going to set it equal to 0. I can factor out a 12x here. And I'm left with... minus x. When I set each factor equal to 0, x is either 0 or x is 14. Well, this is impossible. You can't have a length of 0. Your package wouldn't exist. So 14 is our x. And we want all the dimensions, so I'm going to plug that in over here to find what y equals, and that is 28. Okay, on to number 4. If we have a rectangular room with a perimeter of 86, that's 2x plus 2y equals 86. And we want to maximize the area, so that's x times y. I'm going to choose to solve this equation for x. I'm going to subtract the 2y. I'm going to divide everything by 2. Now I can take that and substitute it into x here. Distribute the y. And now to maximize area, we need the derivative of area. Set that equal to 0. I'm going to add the 2y over. And we get y is 21 and a half. So plugging that back in to find x. We get x is also 21 and a half. So the final dimensions is a square that's 21 and a half by 21 and a half. Okay, number five here is very similar to the barn one. We've got the river and a rectangular plot. So 2x plus y has to equal the fencing for the perimeter. We want to maximize area. I'm going to solve this for y. Substitute it into this area formula. Distribute the x. Multiply that to both of them. Now we need the derivative. Set that equal to 0, and solve, we get x is 80. Plug 
plugging that back in, we get y is 100 and, oops, 160. But reading the question carefully, it says, what is the largest area? So I'm actually going to multiply my dimensions. to get 12,800 meters squared. Now, when we're looking at this um, area for the zoo, and we want a thousand feet of fence, well, that's x plus x plus x, so that's three x's plus one, two, three, four Y's for the 1,000 feet of fence. And we want to maximize the area. So first, I'm going to solve this for um, Y. So I'm going to move the 3X over. And then divide every term by 4. So 1,000 divided by 4, and then 3 fourths, I'm going to leave as the fraction. Plug that into my area formula. Distribute the x. Now, I purposely wanted to solve for y, knowing my denominator would be an even number so that when I take the derivative, this fraction will reduce them. So a prime is 250 minus 6 fourths x. Well, 6 fourths, I can rewrite as 3 halves, and set my derivative equal to 0 going to move the 3 halves over. Now we can multiply both sides by 2 thirds so that these cancel. So x is 500 over 3. So then plugging that back in here to find y, What's really nice is these threes cancel. So 250 minus 500 over 4 gives us a y value of 125. Okay, so our last two problems here are similar to ones that we've already done. We have a square cardboard box. or we have a square cardboard that we want to make into a box. Each side is 20, but we're going to take out those corners of x. So the volume is x times 20 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x. We're going to multiply all these together. Distribute that x. Now we need the derivative. And we're going to set that equal to 0. And factor. Now all of these have a 4 in common. set each factor equal to 0, I get either 10 or 10 thirds, but 10 is physically impossible because that will leave us with no cardboard. So x is 10 thirds. Plugging that back in, we get the other dimension of 40 thirds. A 
again with a package to mail. And look at the same type of package, x by x by y. The girth is 4x, plus the length is 100. The volume is x squared times y. So we're going to solve this equation for y. Substitute it in to the volume. Distribute the x squared. Take the derivative because we want to maximize. Set it equal to zero. And we're going to solve. So I can factor out a 4x and I'm left with 50 minus 3x. So x is either 0 or x is either 50 thirds. Well, it can't be 0 because you would have no package. Then plugging that back in, we get the length to be 100 thirds.